Come. You are the biggest mistake I ever made. That's it. Prince, at least he knows this. Ask what did Prince do to you exactly? Let me even know. Just when we thought we have seen enough of Erica's madness for the night after the Saturday night party, Erica comes again with another mind-blowing drama. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky, and if you see me for the very first time, hi! Please consider to hit on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video. And please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you do enjoy it. And please guys, go check me out on my personal channel where I post videos on family, lifestyle and vlogs. If you want to know more about my personal life, head over to that channel. The name is Vicky M. The link is always in the description. Please guys, go support your girls because not only this I'm a boy, I just want to do. I just want to do other things and I know how to do other things. Oh, guys, Erica continued her drama after I dropped a video. After the first video, I just dropped saying about how much she abused Lecon. She abused the life out of Lecon. Please go check that video out, guys. She now turned around and was mad at Prince. Apparently, Prince and Kidwire were the ones holding her to stop insulting Lecon. And she was accusing Prince of not choosing side. She was accusing the both of them of not choosing side. But clearly she cannot go against Kidwire. Maybe because of how she feels about Kidwire. And she poured all her aggression on top of Prince. Like, she went all out because of Prince. To me, I feel this whole drama came out of her anger for Kidwire talking to Nengi in the club. I don't know if I'm wrong or right, whatever it is. But this one is my opinion. But guys... This babe went all out. She talked about how she regretted choosing Prince as her deputy. You are the biggest mistake I ever made. She even went her head. Oh Jesus. She even went her head to pour water on top of the bed that the both of them share in the head of house lounge. Like the problem deal. They get water for the bed to show. He. <laughs> yeah, he can want me. Shit. Dear Jesus. Like, how far can this girl go? Because at this point, she has already made up her mind that she will be disqualified or she will be punished. Because at some point, after she went to to pour water, after she has finished pouring water on the bed, she went to report herself to Big Brother. And talking to Trickity, she told Trickity that the way Big Brother sounded, he sounded as if she was already in trouble. I want to go, but in case I go, I don't want to be surprised. I don't want to feel bad. I understand. That's the whole point. I understand. Don't want to be yes, I understand. Chill. That's true. But when I went to report to myself that I poured water on this guy's bed, I don't want to sleep on the same bed with him. They made it look like it's, I'm going to be in trouble, so I have to prepare myself. Who would not? How, why would you be in trouble? You cannot control your anger. What is even making you angry? Your enemy doesn't really have to be my enemy, you know. And why are you angry at Prince? Because Kidwire and Prince, they were on the same page. They are just clearly not supporting what you are doing because it doesn't feel right, you get. And then. All of a sudden, she was she was just ranting. She was just talking. There is not. In fact, she went as far as packing her bags. She said because she knows she is leaving today. Like Erica, I don't know if they go disqualify her because at this point I don't even know what to say again. She was just mad. You get she. In fact, Prince also went to want to like talk to her. You know how Prince can be when she he has an issue with you. He always wants to come and talk to you. My my sister just lied down on top bed, spread leg, and was telling her telling him not to sleep in the H O H lounge today. <laughs> Let me see what you're trying to do now. Let me see what you're trying to do. I'm not sleeping. I can't just sleep. Exactly. Let me see what you're trying to do. Come, come and move me. Touch me. Try and move me. And then Big Brother even went ahead to call Prince 
and tell Prince to go and sleep in the common room. Like Erica just went and in fact she broke a lot of rules today because pouring two bottles of water on top of the head of house bed just in, in Prince's corner just so that Prince will not share the same bed with you. Why? Because he, you said he's supporting Lecon, which is not true. And then at some point you will hear her clearly saying that the big brother can go ahead and disqualify her that his show will will not be interesting without her and I'm at least i know that i've made this big brother show be interesting if not erica big brother will not be interesting i know <laughs> erica one i would gladly go home and you will see that big brother is very boring without erica yes now bad way very, very boring that if you want she to say bad way i call her bad way she knows already Diplomatic, stupid people like Prince. Pick him. Can you come here, please? See how the show is with Erica. What the fuck's wrong? Like Erica, calm down. Be calming down much more. Because at this point, you have lost it completely. Erica has said a lot, did a lot. In fact, at this point, she clearly knows that she might be punished. And you know that Erica is on strong last warning. So there's no room for another strong last one. So we await much later today to see what's the outcome of the whole drama that Erica did last night, did this early hours of this morning, we resort to because she lost it completely. She lost it completely. She was, I, I don't know why she's angry at Prince. Really, I do not see any reason why she should be angry at Prince because Prince was clearly stating the obvious that she should calm down. No, he did not say much more than that. He only said that she should calm down about how she's reacting over the Lacon issue. And then she went all out and she left. In fact, Kid Wire was with Prince. They were both saying the same thing. And you're telling me that um, Erica does not have an ulterior motive where Kid Wire is. Because one, she can't even stand being angry at Kid Wire. But she can vent all her anger on any other available person. As in, as in, how how possible is that? As in, what are you guys thinking? Are you guys, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Because I, as this, at this point, she has made up her mind to leave the show. Which might possibly happen, but that's not my prayer for her. But obviously she has broke all the rules in the house you get and then big brother telling prince to go and lie down in the common room and erica going to spread on the head of house lounge she put ah no 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 no. we just await the drama i just felt like let me come on here give you guys the gist show you video evidence of what erica did so that you guys will judge for yourself to see what your favorite has done as in why do you have to put yourself in that part where you are at risk of being disqualified? Can't this season just be without a disqualification? Come on, guys. Ah, ah. Eric has just, she just, in fact, you will see that everything that has been happening has one way or the other connected her to being desperate to want to have kid wire because at the end of the day you cannot say it without adding kid wire into the whole situation, into the whole drama that happened that has happened with Erica throughout this season. So guys, I just felt like, let me come and give you guys this update and tell you guys that your favorites don't mess up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. I really want to hear from you guys what your thoughts are about what Erica did. And please guys, go check me out on my personal channel. The name is Vicky M. The link is always in the description and pinned in the comment section. I really love to have you guys. Thank you so very much for watching my video and I'll most definitely see you guys in my next video.